and welcome back to Visit Fell Coast. We're back at Holiday Inn. You might remember that actually on opening day, but not at the opening event, we did a, a vlog about the hotel rooms and the accommodation facilities here. And a few people have asked me since then about accessible rooms and what the facilities are for people that have got accessibility requirements. So I thought while I was here, while I was in this neck of the woods, I'd just pop back into the accessible room and I would do a very quick update and then you can see exactly what to expect if you've got additional needs and you want to come and stay in this lovely brand new hotel. So don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications and don't forget to make sure that all of your notifications are enabled and sign up for that Visit Felt Coast email newsletter. Visit feltcoast.info forward slash newsletter. Right, let's go and have a look then, shall we? It's just a quick, just a quick video, um, just a little update and useful for anybody that might need it. So if you do know somebody that might need it, please pass it on, please share it. So as you can see, all of the paving round here is all completely flat. It's flat to the floor, so where the, the curbs are, <coughs> unlike many town centres, it's actually, it's actually flat flat, <laughs> as we would say at our house. And then it's flat access into the actual building itself. So there's no, there's no ramps, there's no dips, there's no gaps, there's no nothing. And then flat smooth floor, so it's about as good as you can get for any kind of accessibility issues. Reception desk is this one here, just on the inside as you come in, and then you are straight into the lift. So this is one of the accessible rooms. This is room number 437, and this interconnects with room number 435, which is next door, through a, a joint Jack and Jill kind of door which is this one on the right hand side here so there isn't actually a hoist fitted into these accessible rooms but if you wanted to stay and you needed a hoist you could certainly get one delivered from the local um, disability equipment supplier that won't be a problem at all and as you can see there's plenty of room in this bedroom to get the wheelchair around and to um, get any help with anything that you need. All the usual, same usual features, all the, the safe, the ironing board, wardrobe, etc. that you get in the other rooms. And of course there's the pull cord as well, so if you were here on your own and you needed assistance, you can get somebody, get somebody to help you. Plenty of space so that you can pull your wheelchair up to the, up to the dressing table. Same hospitality tray, and this is the Jack and Jill door to the connecting twin room on the other side, which of course is ideal if you need the support of carers, or if you're a family that's come in and you've got children or parents, or you want to be you want to be together, as they said in the old in the old television advert. And this is the accessible bathroom. So there's the pull cord again, there's the little bubble on it look. And it's a disabled access toilet with all the handrails. So this pulls down and then you've got the handrail to assist you in, in using the loo. And then the sink is a vanity unit that you can pull the, the wheelchair underneath. And this is actually a wet room as well with a little more space in it. Um, so you can you can use the shower and again there are all the grab rails and everything in the in the shower. So that's absolutely spot on if you've got accessibility needs and, and you need any help. Obviously the lift is all flat access. There's two lifts as well as staircases for emergency evacuation and then there's your level access corridors all the way through the building and everything's brand new so it's all 
it's all built to current disability guidelines.